Hey everybody, I want to show you the solution for this question and I want you all to tell me where is the error, where is the bug introduced in solving this question. Okay, so let me just consider 1 raised to the power of x is equal to 3. I'm going to take long both sides. So if I were to take long both sides, I get long 1 raised to the power of x is equal to long 3. I know that ln a raised to the power of b is equal to b times ln a. So by that, this is going to be x times ln 1 is equal to ln 3. Then I'm going to be dividing by ln 1. So ln 1, ln 1. Now clearly ln 1, ln 1 gets cancelled, giving me x is equal to ln 3 divided by ln 1. But uh, ln 1 is equal to 0. So this means x is undefined. Okay, so I'm going to adopt this approach. Now, from Euler's formula, we know that e raised to the power of i theta is equal to cos theta positive i times sine theta. Now, if theta is equal to 0, then e raised to the power of i times 0 is equal to cos of 0 positive i times or sine 0. This goes off. This will give me 1 is equal to 1. Okay, fair enough. Now, left hand side in this case will be equal to right hand side for all values of theta of the form 2 times pi times k where k takes the value from 0, 1, 2, etc. Now if you were to substitute k is equal to 1 you will still get left hand side is equal to right hand side. So this would mean we write the following equation 1 or I would say equation 2. So for all values of k starting from 0, 1, 2 etc. e raised to the power of i times 2 times pi times k will give me 1. Fair enough. Right. So this would mean I can now rewrite 1 raised to the power of x is equal to 3 as in place of 1 I am going to substitute e raised to the power of i times 2 times pi times k raised to the power of x is equal to 3. Now, uh, since a raised to the power of m raised to the power of n can be rewritten as a raised to the power of m times n. So, this is going to be e raised to the power of i times 2 times pi times k times x is equal to 3. Now, we take ln both sides. So, if I to take ln both sides, this will give me ln e raised to the power of i times 2 times pi times k times x is equal to ln 3. Now, uh, since uh, ln a raised to the power of b is equal to b times ln a, this is going to be i times 2 times pi times k times x times ln e is equal to ln 3. Now, ln e is equal to 1. So, this would mean i times 2 times pi times uh, okay k times x is equal to ln 3. I need x. So, therefore, x is equal to ln 3 divided by i times 2 times pi times k. I don't want i in the denominator, so I multiply by i and divide by i. This is going to give me i times ln of 3 divided by i squared. i squared is negative 1. Negative 1 times 2 times pi times k, which is equal to negative i times ln 3 divided by 2 times pi times k. This is the value of x. Therefore, x is equal to negative i times ln times uh, ln 3 divided by 2 times pi times k. Okay? Now, uh, many would be saying, wow, this is a great way to get the solution. But the most important thing is, the solution is in complex form. It's not a real solution. Now, where did I create a bug? Or where did I introduce a bug? Did you catch that? Okay, all of these things are perfectly fine. Now, I have started like this, right? I have given you all this information. All of these things are perfectly valid from Euler's. But, what I cannot do is this step. I cannot prove or I cannot come to a conclusion that x is undefined by using the following steps. What am I doing here? I am dividing both sides by long one. Now, what is ln 1? Ln 1 is 0. Mathematically, we cannot divide by 0. So, this is 
a fallacy of uh, you know taking uh, something and then showing that this is what it is right so the point i wish to say is 1 raised to the power of x is equal to 3 this can never happen in the real world okay so that is the all important part i want to tell you of course from the complex world in the complex uh, you know we have produced here a complex solution in the complex arena we can produce infinity many solutions right but that is not the question the question is if we were to show that 1 raised to the power of x is equal to 3 is it possible for us to find a find a real x the answer is no not possible and this step is inherently wrong i cannot do this right dividing by 1 i cannot do this so this is the uh, this is what i was expecting okay if you got it right then hats off nice thank you everybody please like share and subscribe